Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Hashtag Makeup Together, how to make a simple dinner. Um, so I had a lot of extra pulled barbecue pork. Um, I made it, I made enchiladas with it. We had some of it um, with like an omelet and then we did pulled pork sandwiches. So I was like, okay, I need to find something different to do with this pulled pork. And I just have this idea. I've been wanting to make a pot pie for a while with gluten-free crust and all that. Um, and so I was like, well, maybe I can try to Mom, put the barbecue pork in it. if I put water out there, I'm going to go outside with it. Yes, that's fine. So that is what I'm going to be attempting to make today. It's going to be a pulled barbecue pork chicken pot pie. Or not chicken, because it's not chicken, but a pot pie. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and try to get the crust going. It needs to sit in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes um, to cool off before you can spread it out. So we're going to go ahead and get started on that. All right, so in the food processor here, I have a fourth a cup of coconut flour, two cups of almond flour, and then one and one fourth cup of tapioca starch, or also known as tapioca flour. So I am going to um, just blend this first, just to kind of mix the three different flours up. And then we're going to be adding butter. So you can substitute for ghee if you're not using that, or if you're not eating butter, you can have ghee. I'm gonna use this because this is uh, what I have. I usually use stick butter, but I don't have enough because I am going to be using 14 tablespoons. I know that sounds like a ton and it is, um, but it's gonna be, you know, making the crust. So let's just see how this turns out. If that seems like a lot, it is. Um, but let's just see how this will work. All right, so this is what it's looking like before. Um, I mixed up the flour and then I put in the butter, all 14 tablespoons of it. So now I'm going to attempt to blend it and it should look like kind of crumbly and then we'll add in the rest of the ingredients. All right, so that's what it looks like afterwards. It looks really smooth and it was actually a lot easier to um, blend than I figured it would be. Um, so the next thing we're gonna add is eggs. We're adding two eggs. If you notice here, I'm using a white and a brown egg. That's just because that's what's in my refrigerator. It does not matter. Um, so we're gonna be adding two eggs and then I'm going to be also adding a little bit of salt. And then we're going to mix that up. and then that will form the dough. All right, so this is what it looks like afterwards. It's kind of like a thick dough, I guess. So I'm going to separate it into two. Um, I'm going to be making a top crust and a bottom crust, so I'm just going to do it like so. I think that's about even. And then I'm going to just kind of wrap it up in the saran wrap here. Try to make it into like a ball, it said. And just like that. And I'm going to just put these into a bowl, kind of one on top of the other. And these are going to sit in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. And while those are sitting in there, I'm going to get everything else ready. So let me separate this. All right, so while everything or the dough is in the refrigerator for the next 30 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up the vegetables that I'm putting inside. Um, I'm going to be steaming some celery and carrots. I'm also gonna be sauteing some onion, and then we're gonna put in some frozen peas um, as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop these up and put them in here. I have the water boiling that I set this on the pan and then we'll get started. All right, so I have everything cut up. I wanted to just kind of show you guys like the size that I had them. I did want them smaller. So I'm gonna go ahead and, okay, buddy, put on your shoes to go outside. All right, so um, what was I saying? Yeah, so this I'm gonna go ahead and start boiling and then I'm gonna add the frozen peas in afterwards. I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my onion and get that sauteed. So I have my onion all done. I purposely cut these into bigger chunks because um, I didn't want them to be as small as the carrots and the celery. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get these sauteed. All right, so over here we got the onions going and we have the vegetables going. 
Um, these are done now. So I'm just going to cut the bag of peas that I have here and pour in a little bit, not too much, but just enough to kind of cover it. Yeah, like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and just stir these up so they can be nice and in there. Hold the side of this because it does get pretty hot. Because the peas are already cooked, so I just really want to get them thawed out and kind of let that extra water drain. I'll get that later. So I'm going to just let this boil for a little bit longer, probably about another five minutes or so. I'm going to keep on stirring up the onions. And then all, this will be all the vegetables that are going to be going inside. So everything is pretty much done. I'm just going to go ahead and get the water out of this. And I'm actually going to just mix everything up in this pan once I uh, take the water out. Alright, so I have the um, those vegetables in. I'm going to go ahead and pour in the onion. And then I'm going to pull, go ahead and put in the, the pork. All right, next to go in is the already barbecued pulled pork. All right, so here is our dough. Um, it really didn't uh, turn out, so, um, but you know what? I'm just gonna try to make the best of it um, because right now it's more like a, um, like a batter, I guess. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of try to spread it in the pan and you're supposed to bake it for like 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes. Um, so I'm just going to bake it and we'll see how it works. Um, if it works good, then I might just try to spread it out over the, the top of the food. So, so let's see. So that's what it, it looks like so far. All right, so after about 15 minutes or so in the oven, this is how this is looking. Um, it's actually, it's kind of squishy. Um, and I think that's what I want it to look like. So I'm going to go ahead and put a, uh, put the spilling inside and then we're going to figure out how in the world to put the top on <laughs> all right so while this was in the oven i was kind of keeping this um like that so i think what i'm going to do is maybe get like another piece of saran wrap and then maybe try to roll it all right let me move my lunch for tomorrow out of the way okay so I'm still not entirely sure like what went wrong, why this isn't doughy, um, but I would love to try this again, actually. All right, I'm trying to see like how big that is. So if it just worked like that, that would be fantastic, but we'll see. See, because it's already kind of sticking out, so hopefully this will peel off. Oh relatively easy wow okay so next part is going to be trying to get this part on top uh over here all right so this is probably going to be tricky i don't even think that this is going to work but let's just try to flip it i guess nah i didn't think that was going to work okay so what I will do then, since this, oh, look, it's kind of coming off right here. I got a corner that looked like it wanted to cooperate a little bit. All right. And so since I know that this is gonna kind of thicken to what I want it to, I'm just really just gonna leave it on top because this did not come out as a dough like I thought that it was going to. Um, I'm wondering if maybe I just, I mean, it said 14 tablespoons of um, butter, but maybe there wasn't, there was too much. I don't know. Um, so yeah, we're just going to spread it out on, on there and put it in like that. All right, so this is what it is looking like before I put it in the oven. I'm going to put it in the oven for, um, for 15 minutes on 400 and let's see how that works. All right, well, the food has about another three minutes in the oven. I peaked, and it looks like it's coming out pretty good. Um, so if you have watched this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, be sure to check out my Instagram. I'm going to post the final picture of what it finally looked like. Um, so be sure to check that out. I'll put uh, my Instagram name below. 
And um, if you have made a gluten-free um, pot pie crust before, uh, please share with me what you used um, and, and if it came out well. Um, so thank you once again for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.